Look, Angie, who is that? A baby? Yes, that is a baby, but who is that baby? I don't know. That baby is you. We took many pictures of you when you were a little baby. Assimilate. Assimilation occurs when a child perceives new objects or events in terms of existing schemas or operations. For example, Look, a cat! No, sweetie, that's a dog. I'm here now. How can I be in two places at once? Right, Angie. We took many pictures of you when you were a little baby, remember? Oh, so I'm here now looking at my baby picture. Yes. Accommodate. Yeah! As reality is assimilated, structures are accommodated. Angie must interpret and alter external reality to fit into her internal mental structures until a state of equilibration is achieved. Equilibration. Assimilation and accommodation are both processes that allow us to achieve a state of equilibrium. All three of these are associated with the formation of schemata. Schemas are mental representations of an associated set of perceptions, ideas, and or actions. Schema, y'all. You don't realize that we're using schemata. It's our basic building blocks of learning. Now I understand. I like playing with blocks. 